hello friends welcome to the channel so today we are going to see variable variables in the in java okay so variable is basically combination of two words very plus able so which can be change changeable basically so here you can see int x equal to 10 so in this statement x is variable int is data type and 10 is value okay so so as per definition variable is the named location in the memory okay so it is a location in the memory java memory okay and the name for that memory is called variable so it contains the value and the value can be changed okay so basically the variable holds basically the memory holds the value but we refer as per the name and the value can be changed okay so that is variable so in java there are three types of variable one static variable instance variable and local variable okay so we have three types of variable so let's go to our idea and let's write a class and we will see the variables okay so so we will see in this video how we can write a how we can write variables and how we can access the value of the variables okay and where we should write which type of variable okay so let's write that one so class created and we will write the main method okay public static word main we are done okay so basically let's say int x okay then we will so this is a instance variable okay so instance variable and how we can access the instance variable let's say sop s out okay so let's we want to so x let's equal to 10 we will take so can we print directly here x so let's see if we write x so it is saying error okay so it is saying you can see non-static field x cannot be referenced from a static context so what it means is this main method is static method okay so we can't directly access the instance method so how we can access to access the instance method we have to create a object so variable test is the class name so how we can create a object vt equal to new variable test so in this way we using new keyword we can create the object and to access the value we will use the vt dot x okay so now you can see it is not complaining and we we run we will get the output also okay so we get the output 10 so another thing is for instance variable if we are not writing any value also we will so if we are not initializing any value so we will get the default value so let's check that one so for int it would be 0 so let's check yes so we get the 0 value okay so let's say uh, so static variable so static variable the syntax are i mean the place where we write is 
outside any method okay so like instance variable so, but it will be we will mark it as static by writing static before the variable declaration okay static let's say int s okay so s equal to 20 okay so and to print static variable s out we don't need any object reference okay so you can we can basically comment this one and directly we can access because it is we are printing this variable inside the static context and we are accessing the static variable so if we run so it will basically give us the 20 okay so this is the static variable and one more is the local variable so we can take it out comment just i wanted to show okay and the local variable is the variable which we will write inside a method okay int m equal to 30 okay so s out m so this is the local variable okay this is called local variable so if we print so big difference is let's say we have another method so big difference between this instance variable static variable and local variable are so local variable we only so it is declared inside a method if we declare outside a method so it will become a either a, in, a instance variable or a static variable if we mark it as if we write with static keyword then it will be static variable okay so inside this local variable can't be static if we write write static so it will be it will complain basically okay static modifier static not allowed here okay so we can't write static inside it and the scope is inside the method only okay and second thing is if we write m only so if we are not using it then we can write basically okay so this will not give any issue but if we are using without initializing the local variable then there will be a compilation issue so if you see so it is saying variable m might not have been initialized so you we must have to initialize before using the local variable okay so this is the property of the local variable okay so so local variable one more way we can right so basically this arcs so this arcs is also a local variable okay so we can't uh, this can't be accessed outside the method context it will only use it will be only used inside the so this is one way of declaring a basically local variable okay so yeah that's all for so we will see some differences in the next video okay for this static variable and instance variable and local variable okay so thank you thanks for watching